Hi everyone, welcome to another uh, Ranger Key Set review. Today we're going to take a look at the Legend Sentai series uh, Le uh, Candy Toy Key Set 2. Um, I actually just got this today, um, so let's just jump into it. So you get five keys as usual. Uh, we're back to the regular sort of two per case. Um, so in this set you get the B and Stag Buster keys, which is the first time you can get them in Candy Toy form. Uh, Magi Shine, uh, Time Fire, and Denji Blue. Uh, I'm not going to be reviewing Magi Shine since I already did the deluxe version of him. Um, and I'll explain about the individual releases. So we'll start off with the first one, which is uh, Beat Buster. Right here. Uh, again, just like the rest of the Go Busters, pretty much 100% detail put into it because I mean, you've got the. Um, the old style thing of the head and the sunglasses and the rest of the bike details on it. Um, it does make me think that um, Covers did kind of adapt a little bit from Hurricane Jet because we had a red, blue, and yellow range to begin with. Then we had two uh, two warriors that came in later who had um, uh, beetles, but like zords. Uh, here is key number 219. You can't really see it. So, transform into a key. If we go to the logo. Um, he already has a deluxe version in um, in the range of keys that go Buster two, which comes with a stack buster and BJ stack key. But we'll see what they say. So put him in. The same sound effect as Red Buster. And then. Same thing. Next up is Stag Buster. Um, again, pretty much one hundred percent detailed. It's one of the, it's probably the only time you have a um, like a proper ranger who's actually a robot or well, actually gets a suit, not including Zuban because he was basically a robot to begin with. Uh, but yeah, basically one hundred percent detailed. Nothing really missing. Here's key 220, even though you can't really see it. Go Buster logo. And I won't be covering the sound for the same as uh, B Buster. Um, already covered the Magi Shine key in the deluxe set. So we'll be moving on to Time Fire, or Eric from Time Force. Um, this was only originally available in Dashpog Key Set 2, which was a big assortment of um, six Ranger keys. This is one of the few ones that actually has a um, close to deluxe uh, release. So he's basically like missing the same details in the head that should be there, like Time Red has been released. There's also a Time Yellow key available, but there's in the Dashpog version. I'm questioning whether I should get it because there might be a deluxe set release. Uh, here's Key 1. 30, even though you can't really see it. The new Time Ranger logo. Um, don't have a Gokai Cellular to represent it with, but anyway. So, same transformation effect and then the explosion afterwards with the Rogue thing. Yes, yeah, so I'll put what it says in the annotation. And then last but certainly not least, we have Denji Blue from Denji Senpai Denjiman. The, with the actor who's constantly overused in Sentai, who's been playing many, playing many characters. Um, but we've only got the Denji Blue key because we already had a Battle Kenya key released in, um, Crash Point Key Set 5, is it? Five or six, I think. Um, but yeah, he basically has the same like amount of details as Denji Red did back in Range Key to SP. I mean, the only difference is that he has a different shape for the uh, like dot on the top, which has no details, but it was like that in the series anyway. So he's Key 23, the Denji Man logo, and unfortunately, he does have the same discrep discrepancies like all the other blue um, candy colored keys where it's a slightly dark shape compared to the actual plastic. But, anyways. Uh, 
and that is it for this key set. Um, so, would I recommend this key set? I probably would, yes. Um, I mean, it's not really worth it for three of them, like the stag, the beaten stag brothers, and then Mighty Shine. Um, but um, you do get good. You do get one rare key that's a re-release in a close, in a more like common form, and then you have the first release of a Denji, of Denji Blue key, uh, which I do uh, appreciate from Bandai. Um, it's just that it would have been nice to maybe get something different to Mighty Shine, so maybe um, like a like a canterbury version of another Six Ranger, so, so possibly something like. Um, well, was one of them be really since the, the deluxe so just any of them hasn't been really that was close to deluxe. Um but yeah, I I basically recommend it for just these two and not really these two and might be shy. Uh but it is a good key set to actually have. Um it's just come out so it should be fairly common to actually get. Um it's actually a cheaper case, so if you have one and you have like problems with it, with it then you can just always use another one. Um and that's just Basically, yeah, I haven't got anything else to say. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll catch you next time for whatever I do. So long, take care.